Oh, it's just so great to see the the PV Carnival. I I know that it's not uh, you know as as big as the the, the street fair, but uh, I really appreciate the Palace Fortis Chamber of Commerce for you know getting this tradition restarted, getting us all back to normal. You know, I, I brought my my kids and. Uh, they're, they're with their friends here today, and they're just so excited to be, to be, you know, trying to get back to normal as quickly as possible, and they're just having a blast. You know, so. And it's such a great community event. You've got booths like Little Company and Mary, who's handing out hand sanitizers. Like, they want this to be as safe as possible. It's it's safe. I mean, you know, uh, hopefully uh, everyone's getting vaccinated, but, uh, you know, everyone's, you know, still, I got my mask, and, uh, you know, we... we we want to have fun while, while, while being safe and, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's great to be out here. Joining us today on Around the Peninsula, I'm Maria Soreo. And I'm Liz Brown Swanson. Liz, this would normally be the Palos Verdes Peninsula's street fair and carnival and music festival. This year, it's just marketplace and carnival, but I am so excited to be outside running into so many people in our community. This is amazing. It's so exciting that the Palos Verdes Peninsula Chamber of Commerce yes. is back in action. We don't have masks on, and this is a fun new twist called the marketplace, right? It, it is, and really, Eileen's going to explain a lot more of this, but this year, because we didn't exactly know what the protocols were, well, how, how they would change, and they did for California on June the 15th so that's why we're allowed to be out here without masks we're vaccinated and this is just it's just so amazing to be getting you back to some sort of normal exactly you know coming out of the pandemic it's sort of like this is a perfect way to kind of walk before we run absolutely you know people are now coming back together like you were saying and this is so intimate I mean it is. you can shop and bop and do still all the same things at the big on the big scale but I find it's pretty pretty exciting just how they've set this up this year it is and not only that but from the moment that we got here there are so many people we're running into that we know and it really the meeting place is just it's so much fun and of course Maria and I have done this for years we've been here for every just a uh, few. street fair whatever size whatever music but there's one thing we always do eventually we get to the funnel cake and we shop. <laughs> there's and there's no doubt you about that. You promised me funnel cake. <laughs> I did, Liz. And you know what? Really, that's our tradition with Eileen Hupp. At the end of the show, we're gonna have funnel cake with her over at the carnival. But for now, let's go to the president and CEO of the Palos Verdes Peninsula Chamber of Commerce, Miss Eileen Hupp, for all the info. I am here with the lady of the hour who has been putting in blood, sweat, and tears to get this off the ground, Ms. Eileen Hupp. You are the CEO of the Palos Verdes Peninsula Chamber of Commerce. You have run this entire project from street fair to marketplace this year. And one of the, really the first large events that is happening since COVID. Tell me about how you got this off the ground this year. Oh my gosh. Well, thank you so much, Maria, for being here. We really appreciate having you guys part of this. It's amazing. So, um, you know, we knew um, that we would be able to get this approved by LA County. Okay, because we all know that June 15th was only three days ago, but no one really knew what June 15th was gonna mean. And so we looked at it back in April and we said, what can we do that will support small business? Because that's really coming out of the pandemic, these businesses, some of them are hanging on by a shoestring. So we knew we could do this open air marketplace because we had successfully done one back in October and the county had approved that. And we knew we could do a carnival. And and so, because again, the county had approved that. And so our thinking was, is let's just, we couldn't do the whole big street fair that we've been doing for 30 years, not right now. We Well, now we can, but not, not this quickly, but we couldn't do the bands and the music and the, you know, the beer and the food because that wouldn't have been permitted by the county up until three days ago. And it would have been too hard to pull it off in three days. You need like about six months to plan that. So our, our thinking was, we need to do something right away, right now. We cannot wait. These businesses need help, okay? As I said, many of them are literally hanging on by a thread. And so our goal for this weekend is to bring the community out, okay? Let people know it's safe to come out of your house. How fun is it to run into friends and neighbors that you haven't seen in a year? It feels so good. It feels so good. So come on out, know that it's safe, support these small businesses, support local businesses, 
go to the carnival, have fun. I cannot tell you last night how many kids and parents were thanking us for having the carnival because they were like, we've been waiting for this. You know, we've had nothing all year. We can now come out and have fun and be together. So that was our goal, to bring the community out and to support small business. We've already talked to many, many of the small businesses. They have tables here. Tell me how you created that. Well, our idea, again, was to really focus on local businesses. So we wanted to make it so easy for our local businesses and our chamber members to literally just have a table, okay? Because not all of them, if it's a home-based business or maybe you're a sole proprietor, um, you don't have an elaborate pop-up. You don't have, you're not a typical, what we would think of a street fair vendor where you do these kinds of events all year, except for the fact that you haven't been able to do them in a year, right? So you don't have all that. So we thought, let's just create an area make it easy for everybody can come up with a table, right? You can get them at Costco, get a table, bring a chair, and come out and talk to the community. We are on the promenade on the peninsula, and if people want to eat, they can go to Good Stuff. There's uh, El Pollo Inca, plenty of places to eat yes. here. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, we've got some trucks here. We've got some ice cream trucks. We've got a vegan food truck coming tomorrow. It's been challenging to get food trucks because, um, like many businesses, they're struggling to find workers to come back to work right now. But again, our mantra here and our goal is to support local business. So at our Chamber Formation booth, we have a list of the restaurants both in the promenade on the peninsula and of course at Peninsula Shopping Center because I just have to say we are so grateful to Peninsula Shopping Center and to the promenade because they're, you know, they're working with us so that we can host this event on their properties. And so we have a list of, you know, Chicken Maison and, you know, The Habit and, you know, Creme de la Crepe and, you know, um, Good Stuff, all the local restaurants and we're trying to direct people there. So come here, shop, walk around, grab an ice cream cone, and then, you know, when you need something more substantive, go over to Good Stuff or go over to El Pollo Inca or something like that. Yeah. Eileen, so if people want to sign up and be a chamber member, as we've met so many here today, tell us how they can do that right here. Okay, so they can, we actually, at our chamber information booth, we have membership applications. We even have membership plaques to give you. Um, we have an interest sheet, and we're happy to talk to you, and we can sign you up on the spot. Again, we're a nonprofit organization. We are open to businesses. We're Regardless of where you're located, your business does not have to be on the Palisades Peninsula. So you can be in any of the surrounding communities. You can be in downtown LA, but we would welcome you to join us and help us in our mission to support local businesses because we really need our members um, to be a part of that mission with us. Hey, Liz and Maria, I'm back at the Chamber of Commerce booth here at the Marketplace, and we have just signed up another member for the Chamber. We are so excited to welcome Alex as our newest member, and he'll probably hold that title for maybe an hour before somebody else claims it from you. Tell us a little bit about yourself and why you decided to join the chamber, Alex. Well, Eileen, after coming back home to where I grew up in, after college, I just got a new job and so I wanted to network in the community. Um, my first job was here at Terranea, so to be around all the businesses that I've been around since I was growing up, network with them. Mm -hmm. um, I do payroll, so working with a lot of small businesses. So it'll be a great opportunity. Awesome. Everybody needs payroll and we cannot wait to start connecting you to our businesses and to the community. Um, we have our membership plaque for you here today. A proud and new member. Absolutely. You'll be listed on the website and uh, we'll open your eyes to all kinds of networking and connections and introductions. Um, if anyone is interested in joining the Chamber, obviously, um, you know, you can go online to the Chamber of Commerce website. Just Google us, palosverdescchamber.com. Give us a call and we'd love to talk to you and explore how we can help you promote and grow your business. Maria, Eileen Hopp, there's not enough words to describe what she does for our community. I'm wondering, does she ever sleep? She does not. She is a ball of energy. I don't know how she does it, but she's amazing. And as an advocate for, with the Chamber, like what she does for businesses in our community, especially during the pandemic, she was out running around helping businesses get loans, whatever she could to help, you know, keep it going and uh, bringing back local business to, to this marketplace. You know, I always remember what former supervisor Don Kanabi once said. He said, this Chamber and Eileen Hub should be a model for every Every other chamber of commerce because she goes above and beyond to help business right and of course we're having fun here this is about fun but also yeah. she's got local businesses right here and today let me tell you something Liz <laughs> something very unique to this year you will you will not believe the swag that the local businesses have come out with so let's take a look at the swag shop on
You're wearing two hats today. Let's talk about the hospital hat first. I'm noticing that you have um, hand sanitizers here. Just talk about how safe you want this to be for everyone that comes today. Uh, 100%. I mean, we're excited that, you know, we're open and we can take our masks off, but at the same time, we want people to be safe and to be smart about what they're doing. And show us one of your hand sanitizers here. These, sure. these look great. These look great. So, great for the uh, purse, great for the pocket. Yeah, and they're, they're sprays, and they smell good, too. Okay. They're actually ones that smell good, so they're easy to use, and you just give a little spray on your hands. And uh, good to keep in your purse or keep in your pocket, absolutely. Okay, and I know you've had a lot to do with getting this fair off the ground. Just just tell us about the work that you've done in the last months for you know, to get this done. You know, you, you don't know what you don't know sometimes. So these sort of operations, we plan way in advance. And quite frankly, I think we're really lucky that uh, we're here on this weekend, June 15th, this app has already happened. So the government or the, our state's open. We're out here um, enjoying this nice weather here uh, in Palos Verdes. And right across from you, as you know, we have our carnival going. So the kids are out having a good time. So we're, we're really fortunate to be out here and people getting to socialize and see each other again. And I know you said that last night, teen night, was a huge success. Tell us about that. Oh, my goodness. I mean, I think these kids were just excited to be outside and to be with one another and the great rides and the Ferris wheels and um, just enjoying themselves. It was really, it was really nice to see. You know, I think it's time because as we notice this place is packed and it's early in the morning. Yeah, I mean we've literally just opened and it's already uh, getting full so I hope a lot of people can come out today, uh, bring your family um, and, and enjoy uh, Palos Verdes. And right. our fair. Yeah, all right Andrew, thank you for spending a few minutes with us. I know you've got a lot of really fun giveaways here. You've got masks and pens and of course that all-important hand sanitizer. Absolutely and I, and I would just mention too uh, from the hospital side as I said I work at Providence, you know don't delay your care. If, you're, if you have done that during the pandemic or for whatever reasons, now's the time to get back out and get those regular checkups, those screenings that are done that you might have been putting off. So please get out there and get that done. It's really a delight to be here. Our school um, is going to be celebrating its 55th birthday. Founded in 1961, and we are kindergarten through eighth grade, a beautiful school. You know, it's so nice to be out here, and we see some of the things that you guys are displaying and the work that the kids have done. It's, it's really amazing because kids need different kinds of schools for different things. Tell us about that. Yes, yes. Well, Zita can. Yeah, well, my son to went that. to Peninsula Heritage from first to eighth grade. He's now in college, and he still volunteers at their summer camp. He, we can't. Neither of us can get away from the school so many years later because we love it. The environment is enriching for children in terms of academics, but it's so much more than that. The class sizes are small. It's a family atmosphere. You have long-term faculty members uh, who really just are amazing with the kids, and uh, they cater the education to the level of the kids, and you know, and and it's just a family. It's a beautiful place to be. We're so happy that they'll be returning in person. Nice to see you guys out here. Why was it important for you to be here today? Well, we felt that um, now that we're coming out of COVID and the restrictions are lessening, that we felt that we wanted to share the beautiful school that we have with the community. And we had been here in prior years when it was, um, and we're, I'm a good friend of Eileen Hupp, the CEO and president of Chamber. And so we've been here in prior years when it was called PV Street Fair. Um, but as soon as the minute I got that email, um, in fact, she says I was the first one to respond <laughs> wow. and the first one to request a corner booth. So she said, oh, Joan, we're going to have the perfect spot for you. So um, here we are. Everybody's giving out something here today. Are you actually giving out pencils? <laughs> no. <laughs> we are giving out, let me tell you. Bubbles. We have kids. bubbles, branded wow. bubbles. Okay. We yeah. have beads. Jewelry making. Wow. Jewelry making. A coloring brochure with crayons. Very nice. We can put this together for you, a nice swag bag for you. If you wish. You know what? We're going to let you save these for everybody else, but we definitely wanted to shoot this because everybody is giving out some kind of swag just to remind people that you're here. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And that's our thought. And to have children come and enjoy yes. it and have that their let, let their creativity blossom. Yeah, we've seen so many families here today. I think the kids are happy to be out. The families are so happy to have an outdoor place to go and congregate 
I think it's great. Welcome back to the Marketplace. Thank you, thank you. And happy to be here. Yes. And, and tell us about what you have out here today. Absolutely. Well, first of all, we're absolutely thrilled to be out here with our community, enjoying the beautiful weather of Palos Verdes and supporting our libraries. The libraries are back. You need to come in and check us out. So all of our libraries are open Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And in July, we're going to be open on Sundays. So we're back. And today we've got some fun things. First of all, everybody's going to go home at night. You're going to read your book. You're going to need a little light. Wow. So we've got this fancy little light. It clicks on. You can turn that on. Read under your covers. Read under your sheets. So we're getting those out all day today. We've got some neat little pencils here, PVLD and they say right on there, recycled, PVLD makes care, right? And we've got some little uh, keychains. These are left over from one of our events with our kids, but they're these neat little keychains with magnifying glasses on them. Really fun stuff to hang out. And then we've just got some great information about the library, about our book sales, about our donations, about a wonderful upcoming event for the Friends of the Library, which is our Oktoberfest in October, which should be fabulous. And we're also promoting summer reading. Why is it important for you to be out here today in the community? Well, first of all, I think you hit the nail on the head. We want to make sure that the community knows that the library is open, that we're here for you, that if you want a movie, a DVD, a book, a magazine, anything like that, you want to talk to one of our librarians, you want to join the Summer Reading Club, you can come back to the library and do that. And we also just want to, you know, Get that sense of being back to what we always were, that wonderful atmosphere that the Palos Verdes Peninsula has. We're here on a beautiful day, talking to our friends and our family, and you know, we just want to be a part of it again. So we're happy to be here. We are here today promoting our art boxes and our lesson packs and some of our craft activities like our seashell beach frames. We also have summer camps and we have open studios that you can come drop in at any time and do art over the summer. Now, tell us about the art box and what it contains and how um, kids can really utilize it. Sure, so our art packets are in our art boxes, so it's a self-contained lesson that includes everything you need to make it. And then our art boxes have those packets inside with extra crafts like clay, build your own puzzle, sketchbooks, markers, a little extra fun inside those boxes. Well, I'm just giving away some visors, but mostly some information letting everyone know that we're open um, uh, after this pandemic and, and time of need. A lot of our uh, local residents have been isolated, so it's a good time to get back out there and make some friends and get involved in some activities. We have so many activities happening right now. Just right at this moment we're having a car show for our um, Father's Day, so pre-Father's Day. Um, so vintage cars all on display. We're grilling some hot dogs. We're having a lot, a lot of fun today. I'm here with my very good friend Julia Parton from Malaga Bank and you guys have Swag City on this table. Tell me what you're giving away. Oh, we're giving away, I think, everything off of our shelves. We have hand sanitizer which we're still using, right? Sunscreen, koozies for your water, um, cinch bags, and we also have a drawing for a basket um, full of goodies and also two tickets to the um, South Coast Botanic Garden. So, right, and that's been a big draw during this whole COVID period. So we actually had tickets for all of our employees at the bank, so yeah. And you're making it fun, it's like a wheel of fortune, spin the wheel for us, Julia. You want me to spin? All right, here we go. You'll hit that $100 bill. Oh, <laughs> what a get. All right. Thank you so much. You know what? This is so fun just to see everybody out and just welcoming the community back out. Um, I've seen people um, that I haven't seen in 15 months, and I actually got to give them a hug. So it has been a special day. So we do uh, plant health care, we also do removals, we do trimming, we do stump grinding, you know, anything with trees, plants, you know, shrubbery, uh, and we are giving away, we have coloring books that will teach little kids about arborists, and Chip, our monster, and chapstick, and candy, and also we always have free estimates, so that's a, you know, again, we can do either the plant health care side, or if somebody wants to get rid of, rid of their tree, we can, we do removals and, and just trimming. Now we're here at the marketplace and we see just 
so many different things that people can personalize. So tell us how you have been working with everybody here to get them the swag that they need. So now that businesses are opening up, we have different ways of, you know, welcoming your employees and your customers back to your businesses. And also when your road warriors, your salesmen are going back out on the road, ways to keep them, you know, safe and have their all their gear, all different things that help get the message out in appropriate ways with promotional products. We've seen bags, we've seen hand sanitizers, we've seen masks and all kinds of fun stuff. What's kind of the number one seller? You know, it, leading up it has been masks, but now it's a lot of, you know, mugs and tote bags, things to get you back out in the community and get that messaging out there. That's great. Yeah, we have noticed a lot of swag bags, that's for sure. People are going to be leaving with a lot of fun stuff. That is true. And if they need more, they can come see me. So we're giving out different little items that we have, our swag. So we have little holders for your cell phone. We have magnets that clip things onto your refrigerator, lip balms, pins, bags, any swag you could think of. Nice. That's very cool. So everybody get your swag bags because uh, they're going to fill them up today here at the uh, Marketplace. So there's so much swag today here at the Marketplace and we're with Remax. So tell us the swag. We have, today we have popcorn and cute little Remax water bottles. We've got bags and pins, and we have luxury listings in a brochure that we did especially for the occasion. We have emery boards, because every girl needs an emery board in their bag. 100%. Then we have a chance to win equestrian riding lessons, up to four lessons. They're going to be raffled off. How fun is it to welcome the community back? We are so happy to have our community open again, and we have a large building right across the street here. We've been here for 25 years, and we just love the Palos Verdes Peninsula. You know, Liz, it was so fun to see all the creative ways that people put their names on swag. I loved it. I know. I mean, such great specialty gifts to buy here. Yes. Also, one extra special booth we need to pitch, our own city of Rancho Palos Verdes. We've got a booth here. We certainly do have a booth here and they had some swag, so let's take a look. All right, Jesse. well, we are here at our own city of Rancho Palos Verdes booth. First of all, tell us what you're giving out to people today. Yes, definitely. Um, today we're giving out this file of life. And what this is, it's important to write down your emergency contact information in case there's a, in case there's a power outage. You can actually have this information ready to go, put it on your fridge, and, and you'll have the numbers when you really need them. I love that. Yes. You know, We've seen these before and they kind of come and go, but this is something really important to have all the time. Yes, it is, definitely. And be advised to always be prepared for an emergency because an emergency can really strike at any time. Absolutely. And then when people come by, what kind of things are they asking you? Are they asking you about the movies in the park? Or what, what's the number one question so far? You know, a lot of people are asking how they can best prepare for an emergency. Okay. Yes, and I always advise them, it's, it's great to have three emergency kits, one for your home, one for your vehicle, and one for your work as well. Okay, now everybody is giving out swag. You guys are also giving out, is this pencils? Yes, it is. There are stop, drop, and roll pencils as well. Nice. Yes. Very cool. And what's it been like to be outside with our community again? It's great. It's great connecting with our residents on the Palos Verdes Peninsula. It's, it's, just really, it's just really great to be out here. And you know, Liz, the city of Rancho Palos Verdes is always busy, including our 4th of July celebration, which is right around the corner. I know, you're going to be there. I will. And I'm just so wondering if you're going to have some pie on your face. You know, there's so many good things to eat there, so I really can't wait for that. Yes, and talking about sweets, I'm still thinking about funnel cake. She's thinking about funnel cake, but first of all, she's always thinking about one thing. I am as well, and that is shopping, so let's go. And no street fair would be complete without the Hawaiian. And this is actually a pretty blue. Beautiful. Love that. Aloha, Maria. Aloha. Liz has found something. It's her first purchase of the day. It is. Maria found her way here. And this is unbelievable driftwood. And with the artist Rancho Palos Verdes, tell us about your business. Um, well, I started it during the pandemic, and I use a lot of local wood and resource or uh, repurposed things from Salvation Army, things like that. And um, so this is an example. This is what she's buying. Such a cute little bracelet. Just can't be here without buying something. Um, I'm, I'm selling Arbonne. It's a plant-based um, health and wellness company. 
We um, sell nutrition, skincare, um, and a lot of other products. How does it feel for you to be back outside, talking to people, and being here today? Wonderful, refreshing, happy, joyful. <laughs> Is this one of the first times you've been able to sell outdoors? Yes, this is this is my first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm very happy to be here. Well, Compass uh, is a real estate company. We offer some very uh, special programs. The, we, we call it the concierge program. Is this like staging and things like that, they getting it ready? All these programs, staging, uh, repairs, uh, they can paint the house. Uh, it's pretty much their money. We give them a, a, a debit card. Uh, and then uh, if they don't use all the money, then we, they just pay for what they used. I have an online metaphysical store and I thought I'd bring it to you guys here at the fair. Um, this is my COVID project. <laughs> I had nothing to do and it started off with making soap and lotion. And then I expanded as people started asking me for it. One of my customers says I'm the aroma blend master. So I just, I was playing around with essential oils and I just started mixing them together. And then I found a soap kit and I was like, I'm gonna try to make soap. And the lather was so good. And my boyfriend was like, you should start selling this stuff. So yeah. Well, you know, Liz, it's always fun to shop no matter where we are. But another way to have fun here is after shopping, is to do some bopping. Bopping so over I think, at the carnival. Maria, we have to go over to the carnival and ride on, girl. Let's do it. Susa family, they just moved to the area as well. Your first street fair, and you are a winner. Tell us how you won this. Um, my dad um, got it for me. Tell me about how much fun you're having today. So much fun. How about you, Dad? This is your first street fair. First street fair, we're super excited. First, like, real big event we've gone through since, you know, COVID to get out here. And so I got the, the big girl, Riley, and the big winner, so we're loving it. Your big girl's going on the big rides. Are you joining her on the rides? No way. I'm a, I'm a spectator. I'll hold the... Uh, somebody's got to watch the dog, so that'll be my job today. today's show but before we go we have a tradition here at RPV TV for the street fair and music festival now it's the marketplace and carnival we have our treat from Eileen Hub it's usually funnel cake but we have we've diverted over the years and this looks so amazing what is it Eileen these are deep fried Oreos Okay. I'm okay giving up funnel cake for one year. Okay. We know it's going to be back next year. And after all, new marketplace, new treat. Let's That's dig it. Let's dig in, ladies. A deep fried Oreo. Here we go. I all think right. we're ready. All right. I'm Maria Sorrell. Thanks for watching. Liz Brown Swanson. Eileen Huff. Enjoy. Go PV Marketplace. Woo! Bon appetit. Oh, my gosh.